it's hard to imagine snow on such a stunning and very warm day like today. Yes, but in today's Where's Marty, we are talking salt boxes. Hello, Marty. Well, once again, hello, y'all, and good morning, everyone. How are you? Julie Ames, who two seasons ago decided to start decorating salt boxes. Over 300 have been done so far. This is getting national acclaim. It is. Uh, you've been in magazines, on radio, on TV, <laughs> yeah. and you yourself have done 120 of these things. I have, yep. Okay, so we just decorated the first salt box. You said this is like putting makeup on a salt box. It is. It's just the, the front of it's ugly, so we got to make it nice. Yeah, we do. <laughs> and these are the holy grails because they're behind a... Uh, we're a compound up here, yeah. and it's for safety, and, and it's all good by everybody that works in that building. Believe me when I tell you. <laughs> Back in the day, we had a show called The Buddy Dean Show. It was a local show that featured national rock bands and a live audience of young kids who danced and did their thing. John Waters modeled hairspray after the Buddy Dean show that took place in the same studio Cena and Meg and Tim are in right now. And his character was Corny Collins. Right. The lead character was a young Baltimore woman from Highland Town named Tracy Turnblad, who didn't fit the look of the show. And all Tracy wanted to do was dance. <laughs> and there you have it. Yep. Ricky Lake played her. Yep. And you said, come on, if we're going to do Jay-Z, let's put Tracy Turnblad on TV. Indeed, up. yep. That's, that, that, <laughs> is it? Do you just get this inspiration? Oh, can you show? We've already put three screws in. Just show them how easy it is. Oh, sure. I'll raise this up for you. And these are full of sand and salt, by the way. They're impossible to move. It's just a matter of, <laughs> and there you have it. Tracy Turnblad on TV Hill. <laughs> um, are you still amazed at this? I am. It's been a whirlwind, but I love it, you know. The whirlwind, to say the least. Well, <laughs> yeah. you were telling me that 50% of your time is now salt boxes, and you're doing these to old pay phones. It is. It's a labor of love, but I've kind of got addicted to spreading the joy around Baltimore and, and you know, showing, you know, the people and things that bring charm to Charm City. That bring charm to Charm City. Were you in the New Yorker magazine? I was, yeah. I mean, I, I just want you to think about the level yeah. we're playing here. You getting ready to be on another network's morning show, to be honest about it? Yeah. I mean, this is, it's the charm and charm. reluctant celebrity. <laughs> but you know what? Last, what is it about the, the salt box is the celebrity. I just get to, to make them. Last night on the football game, uh, Tariko and Collinsworth actually called Baltimore Charm City. There you go. Listen, coming up next half hour, we got another salt box <laughs> to do. And a very famous WJZ ex-employee <laughs> is going to make a return to TV Hill. We'll explain it all. Okay, Ooh. we're ready for it. Yes. We need a little bit more charm, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> On top of TV Hill, you may have noticed. So You mean we're not getting you, Julie. No, you and I inside, we are doing what we can. It's the outside of the building that <laughs> okay. needs a little love. <laughs>